All right, so our next topic in the course is moral skepticism. And so before we start reading about it, we want to know what is moral skepticism. And so here's one way you could understand moral skepticism. It's the first bullet point. It's uh, the question, does morality exist? Is there such thing as morality? Is there such thing as ethics? And uh, look, there's <laughs> th that seems like an easy question. The answer is yes, duh, of course there's such thing as ethics. You are taking a course called uh, Introduction to Ethics, I think is the title of our course. So of course, morality, we're studying something like what, what have we been doing the whole time? Surely ethics exists. Surely morality exists. And you might say, no, 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 uh, I don't think anything exists. I'm, I don't, like nothing exists. So that's fine. That's a view known as global skepticism. This is the view that not only does morality not exist, not only does ethics not exist, you and I do not exist, uh, the world does not, like nothing exists. Or more accurately, we can't know that anything exists. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We just have no reason to believe anything exists, so we should suspend judgment. If somebody asks you, does morality exist? You say, I don't know. If somebody says, do you exist? You say, I don't know. If somebody says, do potatoes exist? You say, I don't know. So that's global skepticism. And you could even go further. You could say, no, I know nothing exists, and that's fine too. So those are interesting views, but they're not, they have nothing to do with ethics, really. Like if you're a global skeptic, then you're skeptical about everything, not just ethics. If you're a global uh, nihilist, you think nothing exists, not just ethics. So although that's an interesting topic, it's really for the epistemologists and the people who study uh, what are reasons to believe that things exist, and metaphysicians, people who study what things exist. So we're going to ignore global skepticism, even though it implies moral skepticism, because that's just not very interesting for an ethics course. An ethics course is interested in whether morality specifically exists or doesn't exist, granting that other stuff exists. So we all know you exist and I exist and potatoes exist, but maybe ethics, does that exist? Does morality really exist? Should I believe that morality exists? So that's the sort of question we're interested in. And like I said, that also seems like an easy question. It's The answer is yes, duh, you're, you're taking a course on ethics, so of course ethics exists. But you might say, no, 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 professor, I agree that we are taking a course called Introduction to Ethics, and I agree that we've read a bunch of books about something that's called ethics. But this thing people are calling ethics, uh, you know, Mill says that ethics is about maximizing uh, pleasure and minimizing pain. Kant says ethics is about acting or acting only on maxims that you can will uh, become universal maxims. Aristotle says ethics is about uh, the virtues and what sort of contributes to eudaimonia. And they are all wrong. And in fact, everybody is wrong. Ethics is not about any of that stuff. Ethics is just a word that we made up to describe, uh, you know, things that people think are right and wrong, but nothing's actually right and wrong. People think things are right and wrong, but, uh, you know, they're mistaken. People believe that ethics tells you you should do one thing or you should do another thing, but really ethics doesn't tell you anything. It's just sort of society making up a bunch of rules, or John Stuart Mill, or Immanuel Kant, or Aristotle just making up a bunch of rules. Those rules don't really apply to anybody. You don't actually have to follow any of these rules. They're not based on anything. It's just a bunch of people making up stuff. So that kind of moral skepticism, what it turns out to be is really an argument about whether morality is objective. So of course morality exists, you might say, in a subjective form. Of course a society can come up with some moral code. John Stuart Mill can come up with some moral code. Kant can come up with some moral code. Of course those exist. I just read some books about them. But I mean there's no like true objective morality that applies to everybody, uh, that applies regardless of what people think. Uh, I don't think there's any sort of moral code beyond just a bunch of people making up subjective moral codes. So that's fine. That's an argument about whether morality is objective, right? Is there an objective morality, one that applies to everybody sort of regardless of what they think? Or is it just a bunch of subjective moralities that people are inventing? 
So this question, is there such thing as objective morality? There's two interesting things to say about it. One, it's another topic that we're going to study in the course. It's another one you voted for. And you might say, Professor, this, why didn't you tell me that moral skepticism was just going to be about moral objectivity? Now I have to study it twice. Um, and, you know, fair, but uh, I think you'll find that it's interesting when you look at it from both directions. We're looking at it right now from the skeptical direction. Later, we'll look at it from the objectivity direction. So that's the first interesting thing. It turns out you thought you were interested in moral skepticism, but that is either obviously wrong or it just depends on global skepticism, which is not our problem. But it turns out you're interested in moral objectivism, whether morality is objective. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the label we use for this in philosophy is often called moral realism. So moral objectivity, if you think morality is objective, you are a moral realist. And if you think morality is subjective, you're a moral anti-realist. Now, if you if you think about this, you might think this doesn't make any sense. Uh, you said the easy answer to does morality exist is yes, of course. We just read a bunch of books about it. Of course it exists. So of course it's real, right? Real is just a word for things that exist. And so moral realism is not like a great label. What realism just means is objectivity. When people say, I'm a moral realist, what they mean is, I think morality is objective. At least that's how it's used in philosophy, typically. And when you see somebody talk about moral anti-realism in philosophy, they don't mean there's like no such thing as morality. Of course, there's books about it. We've just read some books. What they mean is morality is subjective. It's just uh, made up by a bunch of people and it's just their personal views or their, it's what they were taught as a child or something. So what we're arguing about when we're arguing about moral objectivity is we're arguing about something called moral realism. And that's what we're arguing when we argue about moral skepticism. Now you might say, okay, professor, I'm not talking about global skepticism and I'm not talking about whether morality exists in the sense of like, we just read some books about it. So forget answer number one, but I'm not, I'm also not interested in whether morality is objective or I'm interested in that, but I think that's a different topic than moral skepticism. I'm skeptical of morality for some other reason. I have some other reason to be skeptical about morality. And so then the challenge is, well, that's not working. The challenge is what? Like, what is another way of understanding moral skepticism that doesn't fit in to these two things? And you might think, oh, well, I don't know, maybe morality is objective, but it doesn't apply to me, or I have no reason to follow it or something. And as you'll see, our readings end up talking about this. So this comes up. Or maybe there's something else that goes here. I'm not sure. You might have a lot of things in mind. So if you have something else in mind with moral skepticism, be sure to bring it up. As for now, these are sort of the two main ways of understanding it. And of course, we're focusing on this because this is either an easy question or you're just a global skeptic and there's nothing much to talk about there in an ethics course.